not an unfamiliar sight to these guys. McCann puts one in the gap in the left center, and that ball's gonna go to the fence. Purefoy easily makes the turn on his way to the plate, and it's one nothing. Big delivery there. And here's Poget, and he hits one by the shortstop. Steel dove for it, but that'll get the run in as Crayport comes in to score. And Georgia Tech takes a two to nothing lead. All right, they're, they're pretty much, I think, a lock to, to, to be a national seed. Here's a line shot. That's in the right center field. That's gonna play to run as Harvey scores easily. And down at second base is Bueller. First hit of the game. Yep, first hit for him. And I wasn't going to jinx it, but still <laughs> never a no-hitter in this ballpark. Yeah. See that intensity and that power. He hit this one off the fist. It's out of the ballpark. And there it is. How about that, Jody? He didn't get really but about half of it, and that's where you mentioned the wind blowing in that direction. Yeah, you can't make a mistake to a guy like Gavin Sheets or you're going to pay for it. 0 for 3 today. And he hits this one in the air back in the right field. That ball is drifting. It's off the wall. The tying run scores. Runner on the way to third. And Maribo with a three bagger and the game tying run. Go ahead, run. Now 90 feet away. It's a grounder to the second. Bobbled by Bailey. And he can't make a throw. And Georgia Tech. Trails for the first time in the game. The 2-2 pitch. Popped up down the right field line. Maripo there and makes the catch to end the game as Wake Forest Jody comes from behind to win it 5-4. to four.